Good morning. Good morning, guys. How was how your Friday going? My week's been good. It's been busy though, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of shit going on. Also not used to filming every day, obviously. So this is, it's just been busy. Let's just say that. Overall, feeling good, feeling healthy, which is huge for me. We got creatine going in. I've been really consistent with my creatine and I think it's helping, I think it's like helping me a little bit just because, well obviously it is, but I'm gaining a little bit of weight right now. And I think it's because of the creatine, like just more water in my muscles, especially because I'm drinking so much water. This weekend is Coachella weekend. I've always been one to have FOMO. If you guys don't know what FOMO is, it's fear of missing out. So I've always been a FOMO guy. This weekend is Coachella, which I'm not going. I went last year, it was pretty fun. It was really fun. This year, I'm gonna stay back, watch the Masters, play some golf, which, you know, in hindsight, it's just as good. In hindsight, it's just as good as Coachella, just a little bit different. You know, Gary's going, Madrid's going, so no meetings. So I kind of do have like a little long weekend starting today. So today's Thursday. Golfing tomorrow, I'll probably golf again on the weekend. No alcohol, obviously. What are we on, day 16, no alcohol? solid dude i don't know if i have any mental because a lot of people are like oh dude it's um like you start to just like have some clarity i don't know if it's clarity but i definitely do feel better which makes sense because alcohol is literally like poison so i definitely do feel a little bit healthier it's nice waking up not being groggy not smelling because alcohol does give you a like a smell you know it kind of gives you like a little bit of a stench like a toxic stench like your far <laughs> your farts your breath in the morning, even if you brush your teeth, your breath, cause it's like, it's just like poison, right? And then when you sweat, who knows? At the end of this shit, what if I just cut it forever? I'm just kidding. I was gonna run right now, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna run later for the first time in this series. I'm gonna run in the evening. I wasn't gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna run on the beach. Ariel was like, yo, let's go to the beach. And I'm not gonna lie guys, usually, like I'll be honest with you guys, I'm usually like always like, no. Not because I don't want to, but like, I'm always, especially right now, I'm like, I'm trying to be like really dialed, like super scheduled, but because we kind of have this long weekend and also I need the content. So I was like, you know what? Let's do it, let's go to the beach. I was gonna bring the dogs, but uh, we looked online and you can't bring dogs on, on this certain beach. And all the other dog friendly beaches are like strictly for dogs, which is kind of nasty. So dogs are staying back here. I'm gonna have the dogs here come. Yeah, I was gonna run this morning before but you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go train and then go to the beach and run so we're gonna go to the beach with james james and gianna and ariel so a little chest day which means i gotta eat make some breakfast make some breakfast holy shit hey get hey get in the bag all right i lied i am i did not eat breakfast because well to be honest i'm a little fat fat and I wanted to save a bigger breakfast for after I get done with the gym, so. And I'm also, hey, get please, just chill out. And I also wanted to uh, bring the dogs with me today because I haven't taken them to the gym. And also it's a little, like, I think right now is like kind of the time to bring your dogs because there's not many people there. Because I do like bringing them there, but when they're, now that there's other people that train there besides just young LA athletes, like there's actual clients and stuff and trainers. Get in the back, tequila. Uh, people who pay. Bringing one dog is probably okay, but like two is, is a little much. So I try to be as respectful as I can uh, when it comes to comes to that. We do chest workout. Definitely need to need a good one today because my last two have been pretty well. Back session the other day wasn't that bad. Um, but yesterday's shoulder workout was pretty mediocre. I got chest, so chest is always fun. Actually, I'm supposed to rest. I'm supposed to rest today, but I definitely can't do that because I need to, I need to do two workouts today because that's the challenge, you know? I gotta do two workouts, so I'm not fucking resting. I'm doing chest and tries. That's what I'm doing, baby. I'm going hard. These are my running shorts. So I wasn't supposed to wear these to the gym, okay? That's what I meant to say. All right, here's the plan. I'm doing three bench, or three chest exercises, three triceps ex exercises, all mixed in. So one, 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 one. I'm gonna try to get a pump. No food in me, little electrolytes, creatine. No pre-workout either. Coffee though. I'm tired this morning in terms of like being energized. I feel like I could sleep for like 12 hours if I had the chance. 
I'm gonna do a cold plunge this weekend. That will be nice. What the fuck was someone doing on this shit, dude? Some weirdo was probably squatting in here. I'm ready. She's mean, isn't she? Tequila be bullying Milo like bad. And then he cries. <laughs> Challenge myself here. At least 12. At the very least. because I'm running so much? I don't know, dude. Look how skinny my legs look. The ankle socks, it's not, this is not a good look for me. I wish I could just buzz my head off again, but I, I, I don't think I ever will go back to the buzz. But I can tell I just have like so much leddy on top and it's a little bit warm. I definitely want to do something different though. Not mullet, but like maybe just grow out, this, start growing it out, fuck it, see what happens. I've always had a fresh fade. If anyone can like Photoshop it, some crazy letty on me with like half mullet not mullet but like some decent growth back here and like maybe slick back what would that look like and then I can like slick it back on top right so just have literally full slick back like guido like a full ass guido some fucking godfather shit like maybe something like this or a little maybe a little bit more flow like that who's this handsome gentleman yeah like this it's not too crazy it's not like a all right, dude. Type shit, type shit, you know what I'm saying? Can I pull that off? You guys think I can pull that off? See, this is, he's got a little, he's got a little on the backside right there. Type shit, type shit, you know? <laughs> Just imagine, I would look like a fucking, I don't even know. I don't know. That's really heavy. When did that get so heavy? Dude, I think that the bench exhausted my chest. I don't know why. Feels like I can't do much of much of that. Cause usually I can do two plates on that bitch. But even one plate is like, it's good. Battery died on literally the last set. Headed back, I will be eating breakfast. Headed to the beach, I'm happy I got them here. They always play and have a good time, so. But I will say, I'm a little, I'm a little bit concerned with Tequila and her ability to not get along with other dogs because she really, she used to be really good, like when she was a puppy. Maybe because like, there was like a two month period, I would say, I stopped taking her to the gym. You know, and she like she was good with Burfi. She was good with the the big scary Japanese dog. 
And then all of a sudden, now she doesn't want any part of any dog. It's crazy. And this is like a small dog, like a tiny animal. We'll see. Hopefully she doesn't, I don't know. I might have to, I still have some training to finish, so maybe I'll switch that and to do some like group training and stuff, because I think her obedience is, is good. I mean, she's just stubborn, but that's because she's a puppy and she's a female. But yeah, maybe I'll do some like group training. Watch out, tequila. So damn clingy. It's that time of the year for her, so I think they do get like a little bit of, a little bit emotional. Right, Tekiwi? Tekiwington? Tekiwington. Can you see in the back? Go in the back. Go in the back. Go in the back. See, she listens. <laughs> I will say though that today is day 17, I think it is. And I know I'm doing 75 dialed, but you know, it's based off of 75 hard. It's starting to get a little hard. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I also think with the video, I'm not saying without the videos, it would be easy or it, it wouldn't be as hard or, or something, but it's just starting to get hard. That's all I can really say. I think it's like a social thing, like just constantly talking to nobody, you know, because I'm talking to you guys. That also has been a little tough. But other than that, it's like the, the the working out, the training is okay. The running is, I love the running. The running is literally my favorite part. It's gotta be because it's something that I can progress in and it's easy to push yourself in. There's not much else to it besides running, you know? Like you're just putting one foot in front of the other and it's easy to push yourself. So I, I, I've i really been enjoying the running. Oh my God, tequila just fucking, tequila, dude, get in the bath. She fucking put the car into neutral. <laughs> It's getting, it's starting to get a little tough, which is, you know, that's why it's called 75 hard. But uh, yeah, the, the alcohol has been honestly really easy as well. I've just been staying away from it, uh, which I thought was gonna be the hardest part. I've literally had zero cravings, which is awesome because that means I'm not dependent on alcohol, which is, gonna, is a good thing. So the alcohol has been good. The diet's been good because I'm enjoying the foods that I'm eating and, I'm, and I was talking about it yesterday. Like I like trying, like I'm, I'm kind of diving into this animal-based thing and I'm really enjoying it. So that's been easy. The running's easy, like I said. Training's eh. I think I'm, I might need to start switching it up pretty soon with the training. Maybe something that's not weight training, you know? Maybe something, like I'm not not CrossFit, but like something different. Like it's still with weights, but not, I don't know. I don't know what other ex exercise, there's are, exercise there are. The main thing is running out of shit to talk about. But that's good though, because it's callousing my mind. It's good to do things that are tough, you know? She she goes in the back for like maybe two minutes and then she jumps back up. Go in the back, go in the back, go in the back, go in the back. <laughs> also, I was saying it's starting to get hard and that's because it's called 75 hard. It's not called, it's not called 75 easy. It's not called 75 dialed. Well, it is on this channel, but it ain't called 75 dilly dally. It's called 75 dialed. If it were dilly dally, everyone would fucking do it, you know? Yummy, yummy. Thanks. We got bacon in the pan, cooking up. If you guys aren't already eating beef bacon, how many times do I have to tell you, go to Whole Foods and get beef bacon. They're probably my favorite thing to eat so far besides dates. These medul, medul dates. So good. Get you some beef bacon. Pasture raised eggs, same shit every day. Same shit every day, same shit every day. What is this fucking small ass egg, dude? Look at this shit. Here it is, one whole orange, four eggs, three slices of beef bacon. I'm gonna just eat it, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat this. It looks yummy and healthy. You mix the eggs with the bacon? Yeah, well I just cook it in the same pan and it ends up just looking like that. You have a habit of doing that. I'm efficient. I have to be efficient, you know? That's whole. That's part of 75 dollars. I can't be dilly-dallying around and separating bacon and eggs and shit. You know, I just gotta get it done, one way or the other. Let's get in these, let's get into this, this egg real quick. Good yolk. Really good yolk. Yes. It's almost as orange as the, it is as orange as the orange. Look at that. In the hill? 
Hills in Malibu? No, that's Malibu. That's not the Hills. Malibu's different because you're so far away from everything. Like Beverly Hills mansions are like 20 mil, I think, but not like. It, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe like 12. Yeah, I would say I would say uh, less than 12, but right around there, like 10ish. I don't. I've always thought about like. Yeah, it's cool to live up there, but doesn't it get old driving like 20 minutes to get yeah. to the core? Well, like, only, how do you get groceries? You only go out like once a week, probably. Yes. Or you get Instacart, or you're so rich that other people pick it up for you. Yeah, look at my arm in there. Yo, <laughs> the beach looks sick. <laughs> what I don't get is how there's so many people going. Like, what are you going to see? I don't know. Maybe it clears up, dude, because... Yeah. But then it's still like kind of hot, or I mean, kind of cold. Yeah, but the sun is probably still really strong. It it dropped 20 degrees. It was literally 87, 26 degree difference. We drove an hour through the canyons, which usually, yeah, Malibu, I'm not gonna lie, is usually pretty cloudy like this. We're, we're, we're not sure what we want to do. All right, so we went to Whole Foods because what else is there to do? You know, you can't go to the beach. So we're gonna make a little, we're making a little dessert, okay? Not the, not the dessert that you're thinking. We're talking about an organic, animal-based dessert. How much? Two? Yeah, two should be fine. Got some of this shit too. 88. Maybe this will be easier to melt, don't you think? Wait, isn't there 100? 100 percent. 100%. Isn't there 100? 88 is pretty good though. Yeah. I think 88 is the highest. Organic cone mass, organic rock, cane sugar, organic cacao butter, organic cacao powder. Protein. Oh yeah, this is what we need. Get back to human. No refined sugar, no cane sugar, no sugar alcohol. There yeah. we go. Put that in? Yep. Dude, I could probably smack a whole bag of these. You like dark chocolate? Yeah, dude, I love dark chocolate. You want to get right. another one for yourself? I think I'll eat them all in one serving. Mm. Oh, that's the weekend. I'll track it. I'll track it. Okay. Ooh. I got in a pizza here once. I got a pizza here once, it was good. Yeah. You guys ever see a Whole Foods like this? It was the first that I knew these existed. This was the first one I went to that I found out this existed. I'm gonna just tell people I'm a tourist. Why are you looking at it so hard? Because there's a lot. You just made me want coconut water. I don't know how to feel about it. Weird. I like it. It doesn't really taste like anything. It looks good though. Let me get one of these bad boys. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna start cooking up. Well, not cooking, but we're gonna prepare this dessert, freeze it. I'm gonna go on a run, come back. Hopefully, it'll be ready by then. How long is your run? 30. Yeah, it'll freeze by then. Should. Let's go, baby. All right, what are we making, Chef? Welcome. We're making pomegranate yogurt chocolate bites, basically. So you take your pomegranate, pomegranates that okay. are not organic. No, they are. Where? It said it. I'm it thin. said it on the label. I'm sure they normally have organic pomegranates, and they switch it out. Where on the package does it say organic? Ingredients. Organic pomegranate. You think that's, mm, you got to have a nice, ripe, delicious your pomegranates in the bowl. What's that, chef? You mix it with yogurt. We got organic whole milk vanilla yogurt. Any yogurt's fine, but it's probably good with Greek yogurt too. Is that BPA free? Ooh, that looks good. Ingredients. That looks really good. Cultured pasteurized organic whole milk, organic cane sugar, organic natural vanilla flavor, pectin, vitamin D3, and then live and active culture. Wait, wait, should we measure it? No. Yeah, let's measure it. Let's just Why? measure it. Cause. So we know how, how many each chip is. Oh, oh, macros, okay. So we have two of those pomegranate cups. Which is? Let me get my phone. Excuse me, excuse me, diaper lady. This is 160 cows. It's 80 calories each cup? Yes. It's 0.5 cup, so two, 160. Are you sure you read that right? Look, serving size portion, half a cup. One yeah. serving per container. So, oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. You were about, you were about to go crazy. All right, next one, next one. Let me scan, let me scan. How do we know which, how much to put? Tell them, chef. You can put as much as you want. Yes, chef. Um, this is so good, dude. I love this one. Me too. 
You can make your own ratio. If you want it to have more pomegranates in each bite, have less yogurt. If you want more yogurt. Even eating this by itself tastes so good too. I've done it before. Is that enough? Is that all the yogurt? I'm not sure. We'll see. Wait, let go just so we can see how much yogurt about one fifth, one sixth, one serving. Okay. That looks like plenty. Yeah. What do you think? No more yogurt? It's up to you. You're the you're the you're the chef. He always today. says this. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's not. It's not up to me. Why not? Because. Why not? I don't know. So why should I be I'm making just decisions? In general. Do I want more new yogurt than that? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna have to say no okay, on it. Okay, thank I you. I think that's enough yogurt okay, in my opinion. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and then you put it on the tin foil. <laughs> How should I do it? Just kind of flop it's it on circular, there? Circular, yeah. They're like little berry, berry cookies. I hope this is good. I hope so too. You've never made this? No. I tried to last night, but I had to come over. So you just left the product un unfinished? In the freezer, yeah. Oh, it's in the freezer. Yeah. Little one over here. That's yours. Why? <laughs> what? Why is it mine? Because you're a little bit smaller. That's all I eat in a day. <laughs> That's all you need. Because you're, you're cutting, right? Aren't you trying to lose? Ha ha ha, same joke every day. <laughs> you're so <laughs> hilarious. Thanks so much. Here. Here, I'll put the yogurt on it. <laughs> that was disgusting. Just like. I feel the ass, that's my bad. Yeah, it's a thought that counts, not the food. All right, time to go in the freezer. Wait, what about chocolate? Are you questioning the chef? So how long, chef? Go on your run and then it'll be frozen when you come back. So what do we do with the chocolate? Let them know, just let them know. Once they're frozen, you melt the chocolate, you dip the yogurt, pomegranate, in the chocolate bowl, and then it hardens, and then you eat it. <coughs> Good chef. All right, so put that in the freezer. I'm trying to chug a as much water as I can because I haven't run, I haven't ran at this time of day ever, uh, and it's, 80, it's like 89 degrees right now. It's definitely gonna be uh, a lot different, so I'm just trying to chug water because I'm gonna be sweating like hell. And uh, I'll give you guys an update. I'm doing five minutes. I'm doing my five hard, five chill, five hard, five chill, five hard, five chill. Um, so I will uh, see you guys out there. All right, halfway, 15 minutes down, 1.95 miles. Just about two miles in 15 minutes. It's pretty good. I'm definitely gonna slow down though. Really tired. I don't see myself getting four miles in this run. Diabolical run. Max heart rate 199, so I was struggling. I was uh, definitely struggling. I don't know if it was the heat or what. Three, so 30 minutes, three miles, three and a quarter. So 3.24 miles, that's a 917 pace, which is pretty good considering it's like run hard, then chill, run hard, chill. So yeah, three and a quarter, 917 pace. I'll fucking take that all day, bro. I will say though that my fucking shins kind of hurt, um, my right one in particular, and it's kind of like running up my cat on the inside of my calf. When you're in the zone, it kind of you don't really like pay attention to it, which is kind of nice. Fucking solid run, heart rate was through the roof, sweating bullets as well. Probably not the right shirt to wear, considering how thick this shit is. I thought about going uh, shirtless, but running by that school, that elementary school, I don't think that's the best idea to go shirtless right there. I don't know how the laws work, but but all right. Anyways, let's check on those yogurt, which now I'm craving because I'm craving something cold, I'm craving water. I'm also craving to hit a golf ball right now. Holy shit, I look like an ass. No. Smell. It smells good because your deodorant smells good, but the rest of you smell like... I smell bad, right? Stinky. Yeah, I smell, I smell like, a sh I smell like not, shit. It's not bad, it just smells like sweat. It just smells like sweat, yeah. It smells a lot worse if I eat like shit, but... Yeah. Ready? Yeah, pull it out. Oh, wow. shit. Those actually look gas. So, I know, they do, right? Wait, shouldn't we leave it in while we melt this? That's my dilemma because I can't... Okay, yeah, because they're it. not that hard. Yeah, yeah. leave it in, leave it in. Okay. Putting it back. We're going to melt this on the stove. One time when Ariel and I were first dating, we wanted to make... We weren't even dating yet, I don't think. Maybe we weren't dating, but we, were, we wanted to make chocolate-covered strawberries. And, well, she did, not me. She, and... We put it in the bowl. We went to go microwave it. It was also a Hershey's bar though. You're not supposed to. Yeah, it was Hershey's. 
And we, we went to go microwave it and it like got all burnt and it was just a terrible idea. So we're not f***ing it up this time. We're putting it on the stove. I think we should wait until it's... How much should we pour in? Because this whole bag is 1,400 calories, dude. 1,600. I don't think we need the whole bag. Because it's only like a thin just coat. Just a tiny bit. Mmm. Feels wrong putting something in a pan without butter. Yeah. Let's see. Damn, it's melting Whoa. from inside. Bro. Crazy. Is that enough? I don't think that's enough. Alright. That should be good. Um, Make sure you mix it around. Yeah, yeah. I was about to ask. Hurry! Oh no, it's already burning. That's good, that's good. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Move it. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. Here we go. Oh. So you just drip it on? No, you coat them in it. You coat them? You dip them in it, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Wait, what is that? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Sure, that can be yours, since you're on a diet. What are you- What? That's fine. You wanna like dip them all, like- It's supposed to be like, coated. Like the outside is chocolate and the inside is pomegranate. You know what I mean? But we can make our own version, this is fine. I don't think we need that much chocolate, babe. That's for like fat people. Yeah, I know, we're not fat, okay. Well, one of us. You. Dude, there's not much I can do here. Oh, I was just trying to get- I was trying to get the video. Little break. Yeah, I'll hold the bowl. Mmm, suck on them fingers. <laughs> oh my god. I was sucking on that shit. <laughs> you got crazy. Was. <laughs> Hurry, I'm so fat, I can't stand not eating all right, it. All right, all right, all right. Well, we gotta get thumbnail. Okay, well, okay. This one's for me, remember? Not bad. It was good. All right. It tastes like um. It sucks because I hate chewing pomegranate. It's pretty good. Hey, if you're on a diet. Mhm. Mm it tastes like like a really healthy popsicle because you get that chocolate and then the fruit. It's not bad. Would I make them again? Probably not. But we'll make another thing. <laughs> Bro, I just tripped on her. You guys saw it here first. Weird pomegranate cookies. They weren't bad. Thanks for tuning in. Young LA Sale is still live. So go get something if you haven't. See you in the next one. Peace.